All right, so welcome back. Uh, hidden game inside of investing by Earn Your Leisure. Um, this was actually a very good video. So I've been following them maybe a little bit over two months, okay? But somehow, you know, I've been under the cave. I, when I'm, I'm a content creator as well as an investor, and I'm focused on my business most of the time. As a matter of fact, this happy hour is one of the ways I'm relaxing and just stop being so serious, right? Speaking of stop being so serious, let me sip some water. So, it's a huge platform, uh, half a million subscribers, and growing very, very fast. And for something from um, financial literacy stuff, right? Uh, but I've been around the internet as a digital marketer for quite a bit um, since 2009, full time. What's that? 2009, full time. That's like 12 years. Wow. Yeah. So um, I've seen a lot of gurus, platforms, systems come and go. And uh, sometimes, a lot of times, they actually had it going. It's perfect. And I wish them the best. I hope they're not one of the come and goes, right? Uh, but I've seen a lot of platforms come and go, and they were doing the right thing. And I've seen platforms that seemingly like they were doing the right thing, and somehow, some kind of nonsense crept through the cracks, and then pulled them down. The FTC came in, pulled everything down. But usually, there is no smoke without fire. That's what I found, right? There's no smoke without fire, okay? So, um, a lot of times, it's not necessarily the owner of the platform's fault. Sometimes, it's who they associate with. And because of that, I can't judge these fellas. I can't. Based on the little bit I know, I can't. People are going to come up. They're going to, they have a half a million subscribers on this platform. Uh, they, they have to do business unless they are just, uh, unless they are, they are, what's the word here? They have to do business, bottom line. Okay. They have to do business, meaning they have to leverage this platform to create income, to create value in the marketplace. The biggest value they can bring to this marketplace outside of the financial literacy that they're given to the users, the people that are consuming the content, uh, is probably to the advertisers, people that have other things to sell, people that have other programs to sell that may be related or that their audience can find useful. They can also bring additional value. So they bring value to the users, they bring value to the advertisers. They create content. They create content with other gurus as well. So, for example, they have this guy uh, on Monday, Market Mondays, something like that, where they talk about stock market. And I just watched it. As you can see I just watched the full presentation at uh, 140, and it's a really, really good presentation. Before that, they had to address a few uh, nonsense that, that of drama between literally men, you know. Uh, about how business is done, people breaking each other's uh, loyalty, trustworthiness, and stuff like that. And um, looking at it, uh, I, I I was like, I don't know. When I listen to both sides of what's going on, I'm not gonna mention names because I don't I don't want to be a part of any of that, right? Uh, but when I listen to both sides of what is going on, one person said, "Hey, you went behind my back." And you got on this other podcast, the other person say, I don't know you like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> and when you listen to both sides, you're like, oh, they, they, get, they both have a point. The only thing I would remove from all of this, especially as men, uh, is that the, uh, a bunch of the behaviors are, uh, even the ladies don't do this <laughs> on a public platform. They just, I haven't seen one. I know they have their own drama, but maybe I'm not exposed to them, but from the little bit I'm exposed to, they, they don't engage in such behaviors. And I've seen platforms where someone got accused, like for example, the like people that call people out to be a scam, they just ignore them and it really does go away, right? But sometimes I can not front, there are some people like 50 cents, I can mention 50 cents name, right? Uh, that basically how they get attention. Attention is key, it's a big key in business, right? If you can be consistent, if it's truly you, and if there's an authentic story being told, right, you can absolutely use that kind of attention in your favor if you're gonna be consistent, if it's authentic, right? Now, could you lose, lose certain type of business uh, playing certain games? Yes, right? But again, I believe personally that being yourself always work out because everyone is gonna die one day. Everyone is gonna relax one day and be old, right? So what the hell? You have nothing to lose if you're if you're authentic, 
uh, if your your purpose is being fulfilled let's say you have a bunch of course to sell and your thing is to expose a bunch of people and go dig up their past and stuff if you can do that consistently and you're willing to swallow yours when yours come out because you do have yours right then sure knock yourself out <laughs> right I'm very objective with things like that some people will say ah oh, yeah we don't move like that men shouldn't move like that you know but I think men are not a monolith personally I think uh, for me personally, I don't move with drama feed free zone. It just doesn't work well with my spirit, right? So, uh, but to each its own, you know, to each his own. But um, to, uh, I just want to say kudos to all the fellas that are involved in the drama. I'm not going to mention their name. I pay attention to all of them because I have to, right? I know that they're, they're basically competitors, right? In one shape, form, or format. And competitors can be valuable to my business. So I pay attention to what they do. And I'm more sure paying attention to how much attention they've gotten, how much value they've put out in the marketplace. Uh, somebody said, oh, you can go to Federal Navy, uh, Navy Federals, uh, the savings, uh, what do you call it, the credit union stuff, and you can get cut a check by pulling a VIN number fraudulently from cardguru.com and somebody called it out and said that's a fraud okay yeah that's a fraud you know but for me personally I'm not in the business of calling out what's fraud or what's fraud on other people's platform but some people do it well and that's how they make money by calling it out and they have an audience and I'm not knocking that <laughs> right it is what it is right uh, when I used to some years back when I used to be involved in online MLMs, there was a guy that would call out MLMs like he, he called out every single MLM or online platform. There's a few of them right now that's doing that right now, you know, and that's how they get their audience because there are enough victim mindset type of people out there. They paid you a thousand dollars to buy a course and after they went through one module, they say it didn't work. They now became an audience over there. There is a market for it. That's how I see it. There is a market. There's people, there's automation, right? There's media, automation, automated media, and there's product, right? They got a product, exposés, right? <laughs> right? And there's people that want to follow that, cool. Now, hopefully, you're my audience, you're the type of person that sees that objectively, you're not taking sides. You're not becoming, you're not getting on people's nuts and, and, and writing it like that. You understand that this is business, and you still understand that there's consequences, for every move, positive or negative, right? And there's also circumstantial events that just happens, right? All in all, you want to you want to be in the game, okay? You want to be in the game in your own way because your own idea is very unique. How you move is very unique. It's yours. But the platforms, the medium is there and you can take advantage of it as well. And that's what we cover here when we're talking serious business, real estate, digital marketing, and stuff like that. But I just wanted to use this opportunity to say, this video was actually a very good one um, from Ian. Uh, the presentation was very good. They addressed some of the drama in the beginning. The way they addressed it, I thought it was uh, some bullshit excuses, which is fine again. <laughs> That's why they have half a million subscribers. People will believe whatever they say. A whole lot of people will believe whatever they say. But I want you to learn how to take the meat and remove the bones, right? They have a lot of good content on the channel. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of people, myself, I've gotten a lot of value from me. What I do is real estate, coaching, relationship, and content creation. That's what I do. I don't do detailed financial. All I do is I don't cheat, steal, or lie. I'm not an attorney. I'm not... I'm not a CPA. I stay out of those kind of games, right? But um, there are a lot of them, those things that I need to know. Like, for example, I do do stock options, trade stock, stock options. So I pick up some tips, not because they know better than me or vice versa. It's because when you listen to other people is when you pick up some of the best insights when it comes to business and relationship. It's not when you're listening to yourself, which is what most people love to do, listening to themselves right so as far as i'm concerned i could sit down here and talk about some of this stuff i watch a lot more videos i just i just pick six of them every week right i could sit down here and be talking for two three hours but then i'm going to be missing out on listening <laughs> on getting more insights from other people and that's the balance that i suggest that people should look for in general in life now i'm going to take take three comments from here and see what they're talking about everything goes in circle cycles bt bitcoins will be no different even more so okay they're talking about bitcoins oh your legend is a phenomenal podcast with phenomenal interviews content truly really inspiring see 
why do you guys need to justify using affiliate marketing on your own platform do what you want it's not like it's hurting everybody so affiliate marketing they sell other people's products and make a commission and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that or they charge people to get an exposure on their podcast i don't see anything wrong with that i don't care if they charge a hundred grand for that either i don't see anything wrong with that as long as the person that paid for it saw the value in it and then boom you do what you do facebook charges a whole lot more than that <laughs> at the end of the day right uh, without the without the uh, endorsement or, or invisible endorsement that come with the fact that you go on somebody's platform where they're literally endorsing you under their breath, but they are, right? EYL, thanks so much for responding to the accusations. Accountability deserves respect. So uh, anytime I see people throwing accountability around, I look at them sideways. Right now, I look at them sideways because I feel like that word is already bastardized and the word respect is bastardized as well. A lot of people don't know what that means, but they're using it. So I discount it completely to zero when I see them. I need to hear more of what you're saying. Tell me what you mean. I appreciate the great value you bring to our community. Okay, now I know. Much respect. Now I know. Thank you. <laughs> One of the main reasons I continue to follow all three of y'all is because y'all don't stunt on the gram. You are strictly about the information. Yeah, so that's another thing. The, the stunting is heavy on the, on the internet. Um, you know, there are a lot of people... They're just not going to listen until you show a certain type of lifestyle. And personally, a part of me don't want those kind of people in my platform. If you need to see my Lamborghini or my before you can value what I'm teaching you, there's a good chance you're not going to be successful. <laughs> okay, There's a good chance you're going to be chasing after your own Lamborghini as opposed to learning how to put value into this world and authentically attracting abundance to yourself. It's basically it basically comes from a lack of abundance mindset. It's not right nor wrong, right? It's just what it is. Uh, some people will say, give them what they want. They like to see Lamborghini. I don't disagree with that either, you know? Uh, but I've seen people, because I used to put certain type of things like that out there, and I, I didn't like the kind of people it attracted. Uh, I'd rather just attract people that see authentic information, want to learn. They've listened to one video of myself and they say he knows what he's talking about let's learn more i like those kind of people more and i and i and i jam and very well with them you know um over time that means they get more value from me i get value from coaching them more as well uh it's one of the reasons why i love the relationship and marriage it's really authentic issues that people are going through right now and i'm very happy anytime i can get one person to help them through another day in a toxic marriage uh, especially when they really pick up some really, really good gems that can help them in the long term, the tools that they need to live with another human being without, quote-unquote, holding accountable, right? Just learning what love is, which is giving. Not give and take, give. You choose a person, you give, uh, and, and you just have that trust, that belief at the back of your mind that by default they have to reciprocate in the form of love, respect, trust, and submission. Uh, it's, there's faith involved in all of that, right? And uh, there's certain type of people that are looking for magic potion, that magical word you could tell them and they can just use it and it just works all the time. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, when I attract people like that, I have to do a lot more work in unwinding that craziness, right? So it's not authentic, so it doesn't last, <laughs> right? Same thing with Lamborghinis and all that. I love those things, those toys I've, use them i've rented them just to use them just to enjoy them but just to cloud chase and attract certain type of low vibration quality uh, students i try to avoid that you know try to and i've done that before and it works but um you know there, there are certain things that's inside that i can't explain in words i'd rather just do things the way i like that's why i said it's not about right and wrong it's what works for me but anyway let's leave that at that so respect to those guys anyway i think they're doing well and i think the other fellas that are involved i think they are all doing well too that's why we're talking about them so congratulations to every single one of them Ooh.